just over six months ago, I quit my full-time job to run my social media marketing agency full-time and it's been one hell of a ride. In all honesty, it's always been my dream to be a business owner and to run my own business, be self-employed, not have to answer to anybody, not have to deal with stupid bosses or idiot clients and really just take things into the matter of your own hands and control what you can control. And I've always, always dreamt of it. And going from a very busy environment in my full-time job where I was a contract manager slash running the day-to-day -day business of my dad's trade business. So my dad had a company where there was three business partners within that. Two of them were on site. One of them was my dad. Basically, he was working on site, delivering projects and doing whatever he was doing in terms of, you know, whether we were doing a house extension, a kitchen fit, a office fit out, a pharmacy fit out, whatever it was, he was doing that with the other business partner and all the other lads slash subcontractors that were working for us. And then I was basically managing the business alongside a managing director. The last year and a half, that's what I really got into because there was a lot of issues with the MD, uh, but we're not going to get into that. And uh, basically I went from that environment constant site meetings, traveling from Leeds to Manchester to London to Edinburgh, wherever, across the whole of the UK we were doing projects, whether that were commercial or domestic. Domestic were mainly around here where I live up north. Commercial, they were basically anywhere. Um, and it was a very busy environment. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? I moved from that to basically working 12, 10 to 12 hour work days every single day in this office that you're seeing right now. And it's been a very, very drastic change. It's something that I wasn't expecting myself to adjust to. And quite frankly, maybe over the past two months, I've really adjusted to it and I've really nailed down exactly what needed to be focused on to get the most out of the work that I'm producing within this office. And the structure of working for somebody always helps. And I've noticed that when I moved over to being self-employed and you know running my own business, um, it, there was no structure, you know, nobody keeping me accountable to the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm not doing. For example, if I'm not making the calls or I'm not sending the emails, you know, nobody's going to tell me like, whoa, you need to be doing this because you're not, you're not going to get business next month or it's going to have a trickle effect in terms of if you're not doing this now in three, six, nine weeks, whatever it is, um, there's going to be, there's obviously a lag behind the inputs. You're not going to have the result that you want. So you need to be constantly doing it until you get to the results, etc, etc. But you know, I'm trying to get at this in the most simple way possible. And it's the structure and the accountability that comes with working for somebody is super useful. And I feel like a lot of us overlook that. Now I know there will be cases that you'll have a fucking idiot manager that's micromanaging every single move of yours. And I understand that. And obviously, the case wasn't like that for me. So I can't really speak from experience. I understand that's probably a very, very annoying place to be in. Um, but the structure as a whole of seven o'clock start, three o'clock finish in my case, and from seven till three, you need to do X, Y, and Z to move this project forward, this project forward, to start this project, to collect this deposit, to order materials for this project, etc. Like there was a structure that I was following to do that. Majority of the time, it was me making it up. There was not a managing director telling me that this needs to be done because it got to a point where I was basically doing everything for him anyway, regardless. Um, there was none of this in the business when I moved over, when I, when I really started, you know, I had my first day at the agency and I remember I vlogged it, I'm pretty sure the vlog is actually out there of my first ever day uh, running my social media marketing agency. If not, it might be just somewhere in the files. But regardless, I sat here and you know, I woke up at like eight o'clock or nine o'clock. I started the day, I started cold calling and then that started going to shit. And then there was no structure after that. And it was just free flowing. I felt regret and I felt like I was wasting my time when I was going to the gym or I was doing anything other than working on the business and I started slowly becoming obsessed about working literally solely in and on the business and nothing else, no walks, no, f no focusing on food, no going to the gym, there was just nothing and it genuinely played with my mind a lot and I feel like it's super important to tell you this if you are in a similar position, maybe you're looking to quit your job to run your own business, maybe you're already made that sort of leap forward and you know, you're maybe struggling with something similar. 
it's the fact that you need your routine and you need your structure for your days and you need to follow that like your life depends on it. Otherwise, you may or may not fall into the rut and it spiral down into negative thinking, into no inputs, into no results, and then eventually no money. And, you know, that's probably the worst case scenario. I'm, I'm, go I'm going a bit dramatic here, but there this can happen. You know, you'll start slipping up on, on outreach. You'll start slipping up on service delivery. You won't, so you won't focus on the product you're offering to your clients. You'll not communicate with your clients clearly. And all these little things are going to start slipping up to a point where people won't want to work with you. They won't join you or they won't want to, you know, pay you money to get a service off you because they'll feel like even in the conversations that you have with them, it will come across as you're not really that bothered or maybe you're too desperate. There's two extremes there. Regardless, I think it's super important to focus on your structure and your routine. Another thing that's super important is your environment. My office right now, I spend majority of my time here. The moment I wake up, I go downstairs, I make a coffee, I come upstairs and I work in this office and I have food outside of the office, which is one of the main things, like do not eat in the office. There are times where I will eat, obviously, when there's a lot of work or maybe, for example, even today, I actually had my food in the evening today whilst I was speaking to my girlfriend on FaceTime. But majority of the times, office is solely for work and you need to have a place where you can just do the work and you can just focus on the work. No playing video games, no scrolling social media, not sleeping or chilling in bed with your laptop. It's a place for work. It's your environment where you're the most productive. And quite frankly, you have to set things up to help that. For example, the lighting around me helps me massively focus. I've got a diffuser here on my right side, which when... I want a scent or something to calm me down or whatever, I put that on. I have candles as you can see, probably, yes. I've also got a whiteboard as soon as I have an idea or something or I wanna brainstorm, there's a pen right there or a bunch of pens right there. I jump on, I get all my thoughts out. There's some motivation stuff here on the wall. It really is just designed for productivity and for me to, um, to make it my own space and just to help me with the work that I do. It's a good environment to be in and that's exactly what you want your office to be. You want a place or you don't have to have an office but you want a place that will boost your confidence and that will then follow through to everything that you do and you'll be acting with confidence and I think that's something that over the past six months I've been, I've been focusing on a lot more. You know, you can be doing all the outreach and you can be focusing on your scripts and on your ad creatives and your funnels and your service delivery and all the other shit that comes with running a social media marketing agency. But sometimes you have to take a step back. You have to take a step out of the laptop or your phone and just look around you. Is your environment clean? Are you, you know, have you cleaned your bedroom? Have you made your bed in the morning? It's simple, simple stuff like that that makes a massive difference. You start the day off right, you make your bed, you have a clean environment that you enter, there's no you know, empty bottles or whatever that's just cluttering your mind space. Um, it helps massively. I think overall, the past six months has been an absolutely fantastic time and it's been one of the best things that I've ever done. I committed to, to something that was a big risk for me at the time. Um, it almost came out of nowhere. There were so many times where I almost pulled the trigger in regards to, to quitting my full-time job and I was pulled back and I was held back by whether it was a family member, whether it was my partner, whether it was my own thoughts. Um, there was just so many different things where I just wanted to commit to it. I just wanted to to start and, and do things my own way and I've been faced with the reality of it all and all I could say is it's probably not what you think it is because it takes a fuck ton of commitment to succeed. I promise you that. You need a lot of commitment. You need to be resilient. You need to be consistent. And you need to be comfortable with failing to succeed. That's one of the most important things. Like, I am fucking excited. It's one of the things that I remember from Gary Vee back in 2016, 17, that I used to watch him. One thing where he sat on stage and he said, my friends, I'm excited to fail in front of you. And that is one of the things that I've, I've always held back and I've, I've always kept it within me because if the guy is excited to fail in front of you on camera, 
then he's genuinely got nothing to lose and he's just gaining everything. And that's exactly the mindset that I have. I'm excited to fail, to learn from these failures and, and to move forward and, and grow as a person and grow my business and and quite frankly, hopefully share a piece of that growth through my content, whether that's on, on, on social media, on TikTok or whether it's on YouTube, wherever it is, uh, or maybe it's through you know, a piece of my information or knowledge, or whether it's like a piece of knowledge that I have, for example, my blueprint that I've been selling and actually sold one today, which is super exciting. Uh, I hope, and I know that everybody that is receiving it and is buying it is super excited and is, is seeing a lot of value within that, which is making me very, very fulfilled because it's something that I've put my heart and soul into and to try and teach people uh, how to print leads on fucking demand, literally. So, but it's all my knowledge compacted together into one document that you can go and purchase if you're interested. There's gonna be a link in the description. Um, but yeah, if you've made it to the end of this video, I thank you very much for watching. I hope that it doesn't get too lonely running your own business because I feel like sometimes it does. There are days where I don't speak to many people, uh, maybe one or two, and there's a lot of mental battles with your own thoughts whilst running your own business. So I hope that is a good space up here. And thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it valuable. And if you did, maybe drop me a comment, maybe drop me a like, whatever it is. Um, it will be massively appreciated. Thank you.